Okay, walking on the turn 40 of heavy hitters. Uh, this is going to be a, a bit of a crunch turn. This is literally the moment I've been waiting for all game. Uh, if you remember, my original plan was to have a, a flanking force out here that was going to open up on Titan's infantry as they advanced. And for the first 30, 40 minutes of the game, Titan has been pushing down this sunken lane here in some considerable strength, about Call of the Company has got back up from the Tigers, from the Tigers, from the two Panthers here, and half tracks in the Hummel and things like that. Now all of a sudden, he's popped out like a ludicrous amount of infantry running across the open in the most ridiculously exposed fashion. I mean, this is like a machine gunner's tank gunner's literal wet dream right there and I've shuffled almost everything uh, around here so hats off to Titan if he was doing that on purpose uh, I've still got this Greyhound is pretty much the only thing I have online it has a lot of ammo it reloads fast because the shells are really small and that's gonna be popping up and we're gonna be area firing around about here uh, in the hope that we're going to do some damage. Um, realistically, any hits that it gets in there are going to do something because you can't miss. The problem is going to be if the Panzer IV manages to spot it and nail it. It's a long way. Um, we've both definitely had some difficulties in spotting distant targets because of the weather. We'll see how that pans out. That Greyhound might not last very long. But at the same time, that is such a gorgeous, amazing target, it's a risk worth taking. We've also got um, a bit of little rifle fire popping up, and a uh, the Sherman, the surviving Sherman, is going to be popping up around here somewhere. Uh, but that's probably going to not going to get there until next turn or the very end of this turn. And of course, I don't know what Titan's going to be doing with his armor during that time, so I might have to call it off. Uh, but hopefully, uh, what's going to happen is the Greyhound is going to be able to get enough fire out to pin some of these guys down in this area. And then we can get up and fire a few shells into that mass of lovely, lovely targets um, with the Sherman. Uh, originally, it's going to be the mortars that are supposed to be doing that, but they can't see over there. Um, yeah. Like I said, a bit of a crunch turn. I'm just going to press go, and we're going to see um, what happens, whether Titan is going to get away with this. Uh, which, you know, he may well do. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on down there. But, yeah. Looks like Titan might have gotten away with it. I'm really not sure. It's taken a, a you know, about... 30 seconds at least for the... Oh, we're getting some shots out over there. That's nice. Uh, 30 seconds at least for the um, Greyhound to get over there. There was a little bit of kick up just in front of it, though. So... Hmm. And some explosions in the middle of town. That's also interesting. Okay. Uh... Let's check what happened in the sunken lane first, because uh, these guys were supposed to, at least, have been running back into the jeep. Uh, they have been spotted now. This like, little OP position has been spotted because of the mortars going out. Ah, there's just a bit of a ding off the front there. This jeep is actually doing really well, it's just been machine gunning people. Uh, that, that looks like kind of stray um, rifle fire. There's an MG team that's running away. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like these guys are uh, a bit screwed. The mortar's okay though, that's excellent. Still okay. Uh, 
so we probably did a bit of damage there. They've definitely run off. Uh, but still. Let's get the, uh, the fun bit out of the way and, and see what this uh, Greyhound does. taken a lot longer than I would like for that to get into position. And now we're just area firing into that kind of area. Of course it's you know a kilometer away. That's a long way. Seem to have gotten spotted at least. Hmm. It's fairly annoying me that I've been caught with my pants down here, but it does. We are like losing sight of them just before they get to that position, so. But it doesn't quite look like we've managed to uh, and I think quite a lot of spotting was actually coming from the church tower which is getting suppressed right now so uh, that fires a little bit high a bit of suppression effect there, you know. No, just at the end of the turn there. Someone might need to explain that one to me. that shell from that King Tiger though. What that's like gone through the house and exploded in the trees behind it. Makes sense to me? Alright, whatever. Uh, but it's nice, actually, uh, if Titan's going to send his infantry up this way, uh, they're also going to gonna be nice and exposed uh, to stuff to some degree. That's a lie. And then we've got the Hellcat, it's going to be a bit late for the party, unfortunately. Uh, though it's going to be, if it sits here, it's going to be in a good position to cover one side of the church and shoot up that building if we need to, if we need it to, so that's what I'll do. And that Churchill is obviously just miles out of position. Well, I don't know. So 30 is kind of the crunch point where it stops being a mass of targets and we're kind of onto stragglers, I think. Which is, once again, rather annoying. Um, but we should be able to, now that that Greyhound's in position, uh, it's worth carrying on uh, and just like plotting the target marker over there. What else have we actually got? We've got a lot of like suppressive fire going out some of these buildings. It's kind of hard to tell though. Got 
more HQ units and MG teams and things plodding forward. Mortar team is shooting up this guy. Are they actually going to get him? Apparently not. Right. Stupid little traffic jam down there. Error. So. Yeah. I don't think there's much else we need to see there. That's probably you know, way, way out, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the mortar team has decided not to run down there, which would be very, very smart of them. And he's staying there where they're probably just going to continue to get. I can't even do that. Get mortared. This mortar team is moving up into the centre. I am. What to do with the Sherman is still bugging me somewhat. Because obviously this this fire coming in here is going to be um, ineffective, should we say? Some kind of uh, conversion fire going on there. Um, Of course, actually, that Panzer uh, King Tiger is moving forward, so I don't really want to get into a position where it can see that. Uh, that Sherman. I don't think that Sherman's going to be effective there. Um, uh, but it's not going to hurt to try. We're not going to get a better... Wow. You never know. There might be some stragglers up there. Put a bit of fire there and then pop back down the slope. Pop up somewhere else. Now that, well, we got some shots off, but now that that opportunity is essentially gone, ah, you guys, yes. Also, unfortunately, uh, probably missing the party somewhat. Guys, I think. That's 
so annoying. Um, just look at all this stuff. Like headquarters, headquarters, headquarters. Infantry, infantry. Oh. So we hopefully got some shots in on him. Oh, this Greyhound might not be long for this world, but I really want to get those shots out. Mr. Greyhound is going to be... Greyhound, Mr. Hellcat. Um, well, I should be in a position to see and engage the uh, the Panzer IV. So maybe if the Panzer IV does go after the Greyhound, the uh, Hellcat will be able to whack the Panzer IV. Who knows? Uh, yeah, not a lot else we can do here. This, I think, this is another kind of flaw with the Force pick that I'm kind of stumbling into, which is the straggler stuff. All this infantry in here, I'm not really in a position to do anything with. Uh, I've basically been using a very small amount of units all the way through. Um, which, you know, is obviously not maximizing the amount of potential. I've kind of gone half and half. Uh, but the stragglers are a bit useless, uh, apart from the mortars and the HMGs. And I've o probably overused the other stuff, the cavalry stuff and the tanks. But, uh, mm, you know, that's so annoying. So annoying. Right, let's um, go have a look at the attack. Okay, we're now back for turn 40. Yeah, we're on turn 40 of the, uh, of the attack. So we're kind of going to be pushing up this way. The uh, panther's going to be pushing up. Uh, the new plan, of course, is uh, this force in the objective denying it here is going to be bait and we're going to be um, uh, doing our best to push up in different places and destroy uh, Titan's infantry uh, is force as it moves up so we thought we've seen the probably the Hellcat moving down the sunken lane uh, last turn we'll see if we can't get proper eyes on that uh, this panther is pushing up here with very secure flanks because it's the edge of the map um, and yeah, we will pretty much uh, see. I was about to say I'm not expecting any surprises this turn, but yeah, I'm not going to say that. That's ugh. Uh, of course we're also keeping an eye out on the uh, sound contact here, which is the uh, another Jackson. Because we want to know where that is. Some mortar rounds landing in the uh, sunken lane there. And okay, looks like Titan's actually using the Jackson to shoot up the church tower. That was a shell going through the dead Jackson. So we know it's really dead now, but yeah. Oh, we're getting in here. So that that's interesting. Okay, so that's not the Jackson actually, I don't think I think that's actually the Hellcat. You think the Hellcat is in there and it's shooting up the shell cat, the uh, the bell tower. Okay. That's cool. You can just feed more men into that. Uh, but the that Hellcat's going to be under a lot of pressure, you know, if we're uh, going to be pushing that way with the with the uh, that Panther thingy platoon there, Panther infantry platoon over on the left.
He loves that sunken line. Um, we've got this MG uh, unit moving up. Uh, we might need to spread these guys out between different floors. And, well, let's see what did we get out on the left here. So we were taking, like, essentially what looked like single shot sniper fire from over here last turn. Looks like we might just have that carrying on. Yep. Creepy little marksman teams. It's one of those weird things where I've never really used them for anything. I really haven't found them to be very effective, but then... I haven't had to defend against someone just waltzing across open countryside. And what are you guys doing bunching up? I need to split them into different teams. Oh, somebody got shot. Yeah, there we go. There's another. See, because they're all, because uh, they're all together here, they quite quickly informed the uh, the panther, which can't quite smack it up because of the uh, because the Jackson's in the way. But that's that's okay. Let's just see if we've got uh, anything else going on. Not particularly. Yeah, definitely uh, going to be in around here. We could just move those guys to, yeah, 60. I don't think that's a mortar round. I think that's the, uh, the Hellcat just skimming the bottom. So he's obviously in a really, you know, not an ideal position if that panther comes further forward. Interesting. We can just move those guys further down to the, uh, the ground floor of the, the church tower. Where, okay, we'll lose some spotting, but at the same time... They'll be kind of safe. We'll keep the casualties down. That one individual sniper as well. I don't think even that's even a team. You need to split. Because I'm tired of you guys. Just dying. Might actually pick those guys back up, and we'll push down here and get into the uh, the lane, and we'll at least uh, I don't know. Let's put some down fire out on that guy. Uh, not you, because you're going to be shooting over the heads of the uh, the guys in there. But uh, you certainly damn well can expend an awful lot of ammunition in that general direction.
those uh, MGs up in there. One thing we didn't check here was what was the Jackson doing. Uh, so we know it's come through there. I haven't seen any more holes in anything there, so I'm not sure where it's where it is right now. We know the Hellcat's in there. We know there's Jackson in there. May as well just keep mortaring that general area. That's 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 fine. I would say let's not wait for casualties here, but I really want to get those 42s back up and running, so let's make sure we do that. Kind of wondering if it's worth sending the other panther over here as well. Um, it's really not doing anything whatsoever there. Hell, we could send it out on the other flank, you know. We'll see. It's kind of safe there at least, so. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, press go. Uh, 